Praise the Lord. David had operated with me by God's grace. I said, now, Jesus, you'll, if you want to operate with me so I can help David, this is all on his shoulders. I'll be thankful. Help him out here because that got off of mine and on to his. And it operated with me. I operated uh, in, a, in some un- wonderful places about the morning, the dawn coming. Got me right there. And then the next one was that I, a child of hell. Well, it was right there is where the operation was. I said, oh, Jesus, a child of hell has been delivered here, meaning myself by God's grace. Hallelujah. Did anybody else get any help? Oh, praise I, the Lord. Oh, pra- thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, David. Be encouraged. <laughs> Looked at me just so precious, so wonderful. So well, I believe he tried to tell me honestly just how it was by God's grace. Praise the Lord. Well, Dad, is there anything on your heart before prayer? Or are you going to lead us in prayer? Well, yes, sir. Let's call on somebody. All right, let's stand. Praise the Lord. However, Dad feels led. I'd like to ask you a question. Please respond honestly. <laughs> uh, how many of you prayed from 7 to 8 last evening? Raise your hand high. Yeah. Not all, huh? Just about what I, I, I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Well, it's a good number. I was thankful. Good many. Oh, but, yes. But uh, the pastor asked us all to do that if we could. It's oh, not yes, compulsory. Sir. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. don't feel bad if I put you on the spot. But I just feel like, I tell you, we had such a wonderful time oh, here yes. last night. Oh, Thank yes. Uh, when we came in and I shared with them a story that I don't think they believed, but I believed it. <laughs> it's quite a story. I'll not go through that story. I. Uh, black man ministering Africa ex- experienced this. But anyway, uh, I felt like calling on David Reeser to pray. And if I've ever heard anybody pray in the spirit, uh, he did. Got to praying, got lost in his prayer. And then at the close, he said, now, Lord, please anoint the person who's going to pray after I pray. Well, it was already 20 after 8. He prayed about an hour, and I guess he thought he'd prayed about 15 minutes. But that's all right. Because, oh, uh, and he yes. didn't, I tell you, dear ones, he didn't pray loud like I pray. You know, I have to holler loud at God sometimes so he'll hear me. But but David didn't do that. He just prayed over there. He prayed for Brother Ham. He prayed for the pastor. He prayed for Otis. He prayed for Jeannie. I mean, he just kept praying. Oh, yeah. And these are some of the ones that the pastor asked us to pray for. Right. And and God anointed, and we felt a holy atmosphere when Amen. David got through praying. Amen. I want you to know Thank that. Thank you, Jesus. And I went up to him, and I always got to look up at him, and I put my arms around him. He hugged me. I said, uh, I, I appreciate that prayer. Amen. And he even prayed for Gavin last night with power in Thank his you, voice. Jesus. I said, Thank you for praying for Gavin. Man. Oh, he said, Oh, yes. But even when I was talking to him, he seemed to be out of this world. In another world, a world of prayer, yes. a world of fellowship with God. Yes. And so yes, I, I'm thankful for that. I know Thank there's you, a Jesus. such thing as praying in the Spirit. Amen. And maybe we don't always do it every time we pray, but uh, we, we hope to, we pray to. And, yeah. and uh, I don't know. I believe, David, if you'll come down here, I don't know how the Lord will bless you like he did last night or not. But uh, surely you won't pray as long as he did last night because pastor wouldn't be preaching. <laughs> No, I don't want to feel bad at that, but you was under the Spirit. Appreciate so, every one of you endeavoring to do this. We were uh, unusually late at the mall uh, yesterday evening, and but when the 7 o'clock hour approached, I felt like we should leave. The conversation should be cut, and so we took off in the car, and we began to cry and pray that God would sweep over our people, that they'd have this, this attitude of prayer, and that wherever they are, because, see, Monty's usually washing a car, but he's praying. And I uh, noticed that when he came into the kitchen one time, he never said a word. I never went out to talk to him till after the 8 o'clock hour. But uh, as I just prayed, Jesus, oh, let it sweep. Let this prayer sweep. Let the holy hush come over our people. Amen. Lord, let thy presence be felt. I feel like, by God's grace, that uh, the revelation was given to me by God right down here. And the Holy Spirit operated on that. And I, I feel like that it has the channel of blessing force 
uh, that we need yes, sir. by God's praise grace. Him. And Amen. so I praise him for praise it. Him. And Dad wasn't trying to put no, you on the spot. I, it, it, I saw a lot of hands. I was very thankful. There's a lot of praying, and I want to thank Jesus for that. And pray that each of us will be in an attitude of prayer uh, at this particular hour and that we will endeavor to bring all earthly activities to a halt mm -hmm. for this hour especially. And then in the quietness of the Sabbath evening mm -hmm. as God gave us the seventh day and then as the, Lord day, the Lord's day dawns that each of us will uh, maintain a special solemnity, a special joy because right. when the Jewish person gets ready for the Sabbath evening he, he welcomes her as if she were a queen. He well, the, the joy. It, you know, you may, and may even the not when they were in Nazi prison camps. I'm telling you, you wouldn't, you weren't allowed to be sad on that day. It was time to light the candles for the light of God and be joyful and thankful for you still had breath. Yes. It's good, isn't it? Yes, it is. I think the Lord's helped us, yes. precious brother David. We're thankful. Lord, we thank you. Thankful for that you're a compassionate God. Yes. And Jesus, thank you for not condemning us when we don't pray. And thank you for helping us to get the message to pray. Yes. And Lord, thankful that we're in your house and all of us can feel at peace and all of us can feel rest. Yes. So Lord, we want to thank you for this appointed time. We want to thank you, Lord, that uh, you've led for us to be here and that the God that created the heavens and the earth has led for this service. Oh, yes. And Jesus, it's a marvelous thing to have a man called by thee to be here and we don't want to take it too lightly but we'll be right thankful lord that you've done this for us so thank you jesus for bringing us all here thank you lord for the miracles you work to get each one here thank you for each soul that was saved thank you for saving me thank you lord that you saved us and brought us into this place thank you lord that you've helped us to be here and to stay here thank you for all the victories that have been won and just staying here from one service to the other lord it's a marvelous thing and thank you so much for the victories that we have before us. And, Lord, we pray for comfort for each one here. We pray, Lord, that your work would be done in this service. We pray, Lord, that our pastor would be set free. We pray, Lord, that uh, in him being set free, it's you being set free. And, Lord, one of the well, it seemed like the one, most wonderful thing I got out of prayer last night was seeing where the shortcuts we take are. And I've read that scripture time and time again that we have to follow you, Jesus. But I never saw that the shortcut most of the time occurs when we don't follow your men. Uh, oh, Lord, help us to follow our pastor and not to take a shortcut and bypass him. And we want to thank you for him. And uh, thank, you, Lord, thank you, Lord, that we can follow him as he follows thee. It's a wonderful thing. And, Jesus, I got blessed when he mentioned Brother Helm's name up here. Lord, no doubt he said that because you you lead Brother Helm and you're leading him. And, Lord, that's a wonderful thing. And may we all be encouraged by that. Mm -hmm. So, Jesus, I pray that you'd continue to help. Thank you for the help in the music thus far. It's mm -hmm. been wonderful music. Thank you, Lord, for how Dick stood up here and read about you coming. The Comforter has come. Thank you, Lord, that Pastor Hogue was talking about being empty vessels mm -hmm. and uh, being a, a body that you could work through. And then in that song it said, through the vacant cells, through the vacant cells. And, Lord, I pray that you would help each one of us to be a vacant cell just now, that your kingdom may be able to come on earth as it is in heaven, Amen. that we may be able to love one another as you love us, and that we may love all people, Jesus, throughout this world. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.